What does the future look like? On this episode of Masters of Innovation, you'll find out as we travel to the NASA Ames Research Center in the heart of California's Silicon Valley. Here, space age technology gets green. It's the Jetsons made into real life. It's tomorrow's launch pad, but you can see it right now. NASA innovations have landed robots on Mars and even men on the moon, but it also has practical applications a lot closer to home. Here at the NASA Ames Research Center, some of the agency's top minds are repurposing technology once meant for space to make things more sustainable right here on Earth. We're going to make the morning commute faster and greener than ever before. And we'll see how NASA is partnering with Silicon Valley startup companies to bring these futuristic technologies to the market soon. It's out of this world innovation aimed at protecting the one planet in this galaxy that we can't live without, Earth. What happens when you combine space technology with high-speed mass transit? Well, a startup company here at the NASA Research Park is working on that very question. And if they succeed, your morning commute may never be the same. Hey, Jim. Jerry. Thanks for coming by. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. You know I'm the CEO of SkyTran, and I'm always delighted to talk to people about SkyTran. What is it exactly? It's the Jetsons made into real life. It will actually take you from where you are to where you want to go without getting stuck in traffic. Very fast, very comfortable, relaxed. You can be watching television, being on your computer, sending emails, and you're going to like it. Well, I already like it. <laughs> Are you kidding? It sounds wonderful. This is a high-speed rail system, essentially. I mean, it's not going to just go at like a 40, 50 miles an hour. This thing can zip. It can go up to 150 miles an hour. Okay. And we will go as fast as the passenger is comfortable with. And of course, as the system <laughs> is used more and more, the system will probably start going faster and faster because people will be more comfortable sure, with it. We'll adapt to it as well. Exactly. How close are you to building something like in a city environment or even around here where you can test that? Well, we're going to be building a full-scale um, SkyTran system here at NASA Ames Research Center. We use virtually no energy, and once we coat our guideways with solar panels, we'll probably be very close to energy net neutral. SkyTran is a sophisticated transit system, and it'll need an advanced computer system to keep it safe. That's why we're working with NASA, right? We want to make sure that computer system is safe and reliable. This is where Robert Birch's expertise takes the driver's seat. So here's a, a typical station. You walk up, get on, and, and board your vehicle. Here's the high-speed vehicles moving along, and then they're an off-ramp where the stations are. It'll be much safer than driving a car, I guarantee you. Is there a complete urban plan that you have? Like sure. how like you have multiple, I mean thousands of them? And I'll show you a typical rush hour where we have about 5,000 vehicles. This is a wide shot of the whole city, or this is about a 10-mile network. And each of these circles are stations, and the, the vehicles are little squares here. This would be impossible and expensive to really put out into the real world, wouldn't it? Because it's so lightweight, it's 10 times cheaper than any bus or train system and probably 100 times cheaper than building a highway. Modules are mass produced in a factory and then all you need is poles on the sidewalk, put up your steel guideway and it all comes together like a Tinker toy. So it'll have magnets all the way down the line? Is that how it, it'll work? It would be too expensive to do, do it that way. The magnets are only in the vehicle. There's coils in the guideway and when the magnets fly by the coils, it induces a magnetic field, which then lifts the, the vehicle. And, and takes away the friction element of it and allows it to move much, much, much faster. Think about it just like using your iPhone to reserve a movie, right? You, you put your destination to your phone and it calls up a vehicle and it t tells you what time the vehicle will be at the station or you tell the system what time you want the vehicle to arrive. Now, could people have their own vehicles? Absolutely. I, I think initially it'll start where everybody shares the vehicles, just like mass transit. How close are you on this? Basically, the, the system is ready to go. We just need to add water and mix. Well, I hope you get it out there soon, because you're right. doing, you'd be doing a great service to all of us out there who have to fight the, the daily commute. At the NASA Ames Research Center and NASA Research Park, scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs are collaborating on what could be NASA's most vital mission to date, 
applying space technology for the preservation of our planet. Keeping our planet green and healthy for future generations is the next giant leap for mankind.